morning. It is September 9th, and it sounds like my lunch just got here, so this is going to be quick. Live on location from the dog pound inside the inner sanctum that's horribly dirty that I shouldn't even show anybody. Oh, we got Dexter rep representation. We got boot representation, I believe. Yeah, that looks like a boot. Squeakers is out there somewhere. Anyway, point in hand, quick little touch-up video. Things that made me not perform well in Flagstaff with the Demolition Derby. Number one, they hit me hard enough that they actually broke my rotor. And I'll take you out to the car in a minute and give you a rough idea of something you can do about that. Number two, tie rod. Shit happens. It hit me hard enough in the, t in the wheel that it broke my tie rod. Three, but probably the worst part, is this starter. Number one, I thought I had the oil leaks taken care of. I probably did, but this starter been on the car through oil leaks upon oil leaks, and it was saturated. It just quit working on us, and so we couldn't. Starter don't work. Car don't start. You don't do nothing. Um, the starters are cheap. Unless you know you got a good one, components, check them. It'll save you in the end. Uh, I hate to give away the Jerry Mitten, but it's cheap. It's something you can do, make you run good. Now, for a little interesting added extra, aside from building a shop cart out of junk, basically, when uh, when I say you don't got to have a lot to do a lot, I think I paid $3 for that silly cart, maybe. I don't know what it originally was, but then I just welded up the rack for the welder. I got to set up better deal for the bottles actually I think I'm going to cut the handlebars off and put the uh, where is it where is it where is it it's laying here in the junk I'm so disorganized actually it's probably standing over here leaning up against it that little T handle actually come off it I think I'm gonna set that back up on the front of it like I said we'll clip these bars off make them hangers but that's a side thing here's the cool thing of the week oh yeah welding jacket once again you know I if I gotta have something I'll go get it but I think I scored that for 20 bucks off of Craigslist some dude left it at, at a place he was renting the dude didn't have no use for it now cool thing of the week I really should just like if I had lots of followers but this might get somebody interested it's an old school cast of hand over gauge complete with the box clips on over the spindle Original box. I think there's actually verbiage on one end of it or the other, but there's uh, paperwork with it. But it's just a, a, a crazy cool little little thing. Oops, can't even hold it right. Here we go. So, just something I found. Now let's walk out to the caddy real quick. I'll show you a little something, something, and an introduce project cream puff that and sneak in the front side of the house without having to open the back door and let the dogs in since my lady's got company and they're doing clay stuff. Do -do 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 -do. Ah, one of my rides that needs to get back to life. Somebody texting me, that's hilarious, probably my lady. So, to prevent that shit with the distributor, this is very just a little buck, but uh, duct tape Duct tape is your friend on a derby car. Now, one last thing. I showed you all this car before. I think I'm officially naming it uh, Project Cream Puff. Wasn't going to take it to Phoenix until I found out they're running figure eight. I may still go run figure eight with, uh, the, with the Cadillac, but we might might be uh, getting something together with Mortimer's maybe for an event. So if we do, I'm going to take that down there for... for uh, for the event because worst case scenario i hammer it out straight and use it somewhere else all right signing off that's almost five minutes i hope anybody that uh, sees this is willing to uh subscribe maybe like kind of follow because hopefully there'll be other things coming up in the future there's a big red thing out there it's one of them other things took and in on trade we got practice car that's almost identical to the first cadillac Big Red, like I said, I took him on, on trade. Dory's uh, car's on the other side. And then we got one more tucked around the corner. I really think I should fix this car. I wish somebody knew more about it. It's weird. It's like a 93. The window tag said it had a 5.7 in it, but it said it was optioned with the 5.0. It's got a small block Chevy in it. 
whether it's 350 or 305 I don't know but it's actually a pretty nice pretty nice caddy my mind is sick as it is automatically thought derby car but uh anyway it's here I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it I might fix it a little bit more of the Empire dirt up back <laughs> that's another derby project for Flagstaff next year anyway let me get off this thing I'm trying to keep these videos short y'all have a great day